This is just a very short tip. It's actually kind of a trick you can do in Pro Tools to have a backwards path to audio files that you have audio suited. In other words, audio that's been processed by you. Unfortunately, maybe you did something and you need to go back. Uh, let's say you didn't save a playlist, you didn't save it on your X tracks if you're dialogue editing. This could even be music. Maybe you processed, maybe you hard tuned it and you need to go back to an unprocessed raw original clip. Um, this idea actually comes from uh, Andrej Baco, hopefully I pronounced that right, on the Post Sound Mixers group on Facebook. Great group, a lot of uh, good like beginner comments and questions and also some more advanced stuff. It says, something I've never been too sure how it works in Pro Tools. I feel it should be very simple. If I audio suite a clip, how do I go back to the original? And so uh, there's 51 comments on this right now of people saying you can't do it or you, you should use playlists um, or, you know, Nuendo's better and you make a work track, make X tracks. So <laughs> there's actually a really cool way to do this. So I've got this documentary and uh, like many of you, I've been lazy and audio suited this interview um, because it had a hum in it. So instead of notching it out like a professional, I ran it through Absentia DX. But let's say it chewed up a couple words or I don't like the process. This could easily be something that I've like printed, you know, a Melodyne pass on to a new audio file, anything, any, any way I wanna have basically uh, like an, a, a list of files to go back to, to get back to the raw original and try again. So how do you do this? This will work in any session you got. Just right click on the track and check th at the bottom, there's field recorder guide track. So turn that on. And you'll see if I right click it again, there's a little check mark now. Now, if you have a big session, this little green ball is gonna spin for a couple seconds and it's gonna figure out where the files are. But now at this point, all I have to do is if I just wanna replace this region, I right click I go to matching field recorder channels and I, the tricky thing is you kind of have to like pick the right channel <laughs> and it doesn't have any clip gain information. So if I right click this one, I can see that is definitely the right audio. It's just down 28 dB. I had to clip gain this up so far. So the downside is you will have to copy and paste your clip gain information, but the plus side is now you have a way to get back to the raw original audio if you've gone a little too far with your processing. So that's it, super simple. Again, just in case you missed it because it so, it's so easy and fast, you right click the track, turn on field recorder guide track. And this feature I believe is only in like Pro Tools Ultimate and Studio. I don't think the lower versions have it. Um, so if you're on like the basic version of Pro Tools, you don't have this. But for the rest of us, turn field recorder guide track on, right click, go to matching field recorder channels, and then go back. Usually it's like the second or third from the top, um, and you can go back, and there, it's done. You've gone back to the original audio. I'll show you again. Right click, bam, it's right there. So that's it, that's the tip. Sorry it's so short, but I mean, this all came from a Facebook post, so I figured I would just do a quick video on it. Hopefully that helps you guys out. I'll see you next time.